and good morning. How are we all doing on this fine Thursday? I cannot believe it's already the 20th of October. Becca, has, I feel like October just started. It, well, it did. And it's the 20th. <laughs> it's insane, right? It's the 20th. It's almost over. I can't believe it. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. It's chilly. Although, for some reason, Becca, you know it's colder than it was yesterday. Today is colder? To work. But it's not windy. No, I swear That's yesterday insane. felt much colder. It did. That's crazy. I was like freezing. I think maybe it's because it was also very uh, overcast. overcast yeah. when the yeah. sun wasn't out or anything. And of course, with our new tattoos, we're not wearing long sleeves because they need to breathe. And I'm like, whose bright idea was it to get these? In October, we can't bundle up. So while our tattoos are breathing and healing beautifully, we're, we're freezing. freezing. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know... It's, it's a okay. give and take here, but it, right now it's 43 degrees, which is fine. But let me know what temperature it is in your neck of the woods. You know that I love asking what temperature it is where you are. Christina, it is flying. It is flying by. And then I saw a message from Kat. She said, good morning. I just realized I need pesto for my crock pot chicken that has to cook for six hours. But I'll wait till we're done here. Priorities, you know. Kat, I'm very glad that we are... Um, high on that list because you have your priorities straight it sounds like to me so i'm i'm happy about that i sure am good morning flock family from hot california it's gonna be 90 there today now i don't really mind my temperature i'd rather it be cold i would much rather be cold than hot 74 in arizona that sounds that's wonderful. perfect yeah yes yeah. absolutely well guys today we're doing a really fun twist on the glitter tumbler it's gonna be great um I have some basic supplies here. If you have watched any of our other glitter tumbler videos, the products are the exact same with the addition of some really cool alcohol inks. Now, these are gonna be linked below. You can't just use any run of the mill alcohol inks. These actually, and I'll show you later, these actually have like a precision applicator tip on it. So it's kind of like a dropper, I guess. So uh, that's going to be super useful today. The tutorials I have seen with this, which by the way, I'm not taking credit for this. I found it on TikTok. Um, who doesn't find things on TikTok? Right. I swear. I roam around there and get so inspired and I knew we had to make this. So uh, the lady on TikTok, we're using um, like squeeze bottles with metal, really long metal applicator tips on it to drop. Uh, I, I'll link, I can link those for you if you want them, but it seemed like a lot of money to spend on like different things to put things together. And then I found these that have the applicator tip on them. I'm like, that's great. It was so perfect. These yeah. These are going to be perfect. Yes. She was using a ton of ink though. Like that bottle was full. It looked kind of like a bottle this size full with ink. And I'm like, we're not going to be buying that much ink either. So I found this set with a ton of colors. It works perfectly. So we have, Rich, do you know how much this set was? I think it was 20. You guys can click the link and know. Yeah. But the only reason that I was asking is if you buy alcohol inks individually, they're generally a little bit larger than those. But if but they're more expensive to do that. Like if you go to Hobby Lobby and get them, they are they're pretty pricey. And so to get a kit like this gets you several different colors. Um, so you can kind of just build your alcohol ink um, catalog, library, back stock, These whatever. These right now are $17.98. Okay. That's a heck of a price. Yeah. I think ours was around 20 when we bought them. Uh, Amazon prices always change constantly. You guys know that. So check it out. But if you're in the market for some alcohol inks, like Becca said, this is a great way to go ahead and start your stock off. This is a really great. There's white and black in here too, which a lot of kits don't come with white or black. Mm -mm. They just come with different colors. So this has two blacks and two whites along with a ton of different colors. Go to the overhead. Let's look yeah. at the colors really quick. Are there any metallics in there? Like ah. a gold metallic? Because that's my favorite. I, I love. Know, Becca, right here. What's um, that one? Is that that one that your your right fingers on? Says yellow, okay. orange, red. So what is this? Orange, red. No, I don't think so it no has metallics. colors like that. But it has basic colors and a lot of different good mixes of colors. Like this says scarlet. This says red. This says orange, red. This one is like violet, purple, uh, blush violet. I mean, there's just like so lots of variations of yeah. the same color, which I love. I think it's a great mix of colors. I love a lot of these colors. And we're going to be mixing several of them together today for the project we're making. And if you guys don't know, it's going to be like a glitter watercolor. It almost looks like a geode, kind of like a, one of those... Um, 
gems. Yeah, it's a, a geode. Yeah. It looks kind of like a geode. It's really cool. So we tested it yesterday. Me and Becca were like, what? So we're excited to do that. So we have those alcohol inks. We have a tumbler. This is actually a sublimation tumbler. But get this, guys. It's cheaper than buying a regular tumbler that's white. So we're just going to use this one today. Uh, plus, we have used up. Uh, there's probably 10 tumblers in this place that we're not even using. We use them all the time. I have linked them below if you would like them. I really like these tumblers. They're a great price. They come with a lid, a straw, and I believe a straw cleaner as well. We have some polyurethane spray, Loctite. We have our tumbler turner, our UV light, UV resin. J Diction is the best. We have some electrical tape. I was going to try out those silicone rings that Becca bought, but since we're doing a brand new type of project today, I didn't want to stain them with alcohol ink or mess them up. I will test them in another project though, I promise. So right now we're going to be using um, electrical tape to just seal off, honestly, maybe like a quarter inch here on the top, just so it uh, is a nice finish and this lid can go on and off well. I'm not going to be doing anything to the bottom of it, like taping it off or anything, because I want the uh, glitter to go all the way down. So that's what we're using that for. I have some rubbing alcohol in a little spritzer bottle. That is going to be good when we're applying our UV resin. This is a dowel that Becca cut and this thing for some reason is our tried and true way of adding anything to our tumblers. It's super easy to hold them over a trash can and spray our tumblers when they're when they're added to this stick. I don't know why, but I love that Becca cut this stick. We use it all the time. So we have our trusty cut dowel. And the glitter we're using is from LMNOP. I think I linked that one below. I'll check. If not, I'll link it. And this one's called Angel Wings. Now we have another one from 143 Vinyl that is a little bit finer of a glitter. And it's like true white. But this kind of has some it's iridescent. iridescent uh, I can see like some greens and pinks and things in here. And I think that's going to be really pretty with the alcohol ink mixture that we're going to be using today. So that's what we're using. I would recommend not using huge chunky glitter for this project. The whole point of it is that you want the alcohol ink to kind of spread around on this glitter. So we're going to be using this that's pretty fine, pretty fine glitter. So that's what we're using. I have some scissors because these little tips on here, you have to snip the tips off in order to start using them. And it's messy. Honestly, it's messy. Does it go it's, everywhere? It gets everywhere. And I mean, I'll hold it up so no ink's in the tip and I'll cut it, but there, it's still a yeah. mess. So make sure you have like a piece of paper on your work surface, some paper towels, things like that. Cause, um, I, they stained my, my scissors and I still can't get the ink off my scissors. So don't wear clothes that you value or anything like that. Be careful with this. I would do it outside. And then of course some gloves, uh, for, safety when we're using our resin. Uh, we finally used a whole box of gloves here and I had to replace it just this morning, but a year, it took us a year to use all those gloves. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good track record in my opinion. Do we need to order more? I got some, I bought the ones I bought from Harbor Freight. Oh, you're so good. Yes, yes. How are we doing in the comments? Good. They're really excited about this. They're intrigued. Which glitter do you love for glitter pins? Did you already? I did. Yes. Yep. We love Elemental, yep, Becca then said both of them. The Elemental P glitters, I think are like top tier. Well, because the color selection for them, I feel like are different colors than just your standard primary and yeah. um, pastel colors yeah. that you get at like one, four, three. Now those glitters are great, but these are more like jewel tones and more vintage retro colors um, that you can't find as easily other places. They're a little more popular right yes. now. Yeah. A little hipper. Well, they mix the colors for you. Like if you sent them, Which a, is nuts uh, it, it's amazing. Yeah. If you sent them like a specific color palette or something, I think, I, I think I haven't done this yet, but I think that they would try to mix as close, um, <clears throat> to what you sent as possible. Yeah. I think it's super cool. That Maybe we that. should do that for Oak and Lamb colors. Why have I not thought about that? I just tried to get like Basic looking online to see. Yeah. If any of them match pretty good. Yeah. We should do that. Yeah. Um, oh, that's a great idea, Kimberly. Mm -hmm. Keep a thumbtack in the box. You can pierce the nozzle and it keeps it from spraying. We have a thumbtack behind you. That's a great idea. I didn't even think about in that. that box. In that box right there is what she means. You mean to poke a hole in it? Yeah. That's genius. Why did we not think of is that? There a yeah, it's in the, that top drawer or the other one. It's in a clear plastic box. Oh my God. Okay, let me try this. Hang on. Do you ever use the glitter guy glitters? I'm not yeah. sure how to tell what is a good glitter. So Megan, honestly, I think that it, 
I think that color for me more than anything makes it a good glitter. I think glitter is glitter as far as like, if you're getting a fine glitter, it, it's the same. You're not gonna be able to tell the difference. So for me, it's just color. I've not ever bought glitter guy glitters. I have seen them in the store, but I did buy those stainless steel pen blanks from him and the shipping was really great. And I got a rubber duck in the box, which was thrown away, but interesting to receive. Unfortunately, I think this is just as messy. It like peed on me. Oh. When I poked it, it like... I still loved the idea. Though. I love the idea. But, unfortunately... Look, I'm going to take some electrical tape and tape this up so it doesn't poke in the trash can and stab one of That's us. That's good. Lenny, we are making glitter tumblers today, and Rachel is using alcohol ink to do a fun color... Um, painting on them it's really neat so i don't know i've never done one like this it's a it's a TikTok trend you know tick talk yeah the tick talk um diana says hi all in mexico on the beach and catching y'all i love oh. that you're in like the oh. most gorgeous place ever and watching oaken land and you want to catch us so yeah. i mean is that alcohol or water alcohol yeah so if you didn't know you can clean up alcohol inks with alcohol Honestly, it's kind of like feeding your baby in a high chair. I might as well just wait till the whole lives over to clean this table. It's pop. true. Otherwise, I'll be cleaning it ten it's times true. over. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and prep our mug for for the alcoholing because that's why you guys are here. So first, I'm gonna clean it, which is a step Becca never takes. She never cleans her stuff, never. And Pointless. you know what? She's never had a fail out of it. Pointless. Even. So, so really, who's in the right here? Truly, am I it, wasting time or is Becca? Well, I don't know. You know, it makes you feel better. So I feel like. I feel like you should do it if it makes you feel better. <laughs> well, then I'm cleaning it. So I've just spritzed it with that alcohol. I'm going to wipe it down, and I'm going to do two coats of our glitter. Now, what that entails is I'm going to take our handy-dandy um, tumbler foam circle and shove it in here. Now, if you're, this is, this is a good conversation to have. If your tumbler isn't already white, I recommend... Uh, painting your tumbler with what color glitter you're going to be using or at least something close to it now when in doubt always do white any color looks really decent over white it just makes it pop a little more i would not leave it stainless steel color just because the glitter is not going to stand out as much so ours is already white so we do not have to worry about that so if you need to do that add a couple layers do a really light coat you don't want to be heavy-handed when using spray paint on something like a stainless steel uh, tumbler because it does run fairly quickly so we have our loctite here which i'm going to like peel the grime off of the nozzle because it always gets all gunked up and then we're going to be doing one good coat of loctite and then one good coat of glitter and then repeat that. So we're gonna end up with two coats of glitter. You do not have to let this Loctite dry in between coats or anything like that. It is like a semi, uh, it's like it stays sticky for a long time. So it's not gonna dry out on you uh, and you don't really need it to. So we're gonna do both of those layers. I'm gonna get a piece of paper here. I don't know if that's gonna be wide enough. Yeah, that should be fine. And then I'm going to do this over the trash can because that's just the best way to do it. I'm sorry. I know you won't be able to see it very well. But I'm going to take our Loctite. And this is just general performance. It's 100 general performance. You don't have to have anything fancy. Um, we've had people ask if they could use things like Mod Podge or um, what was that other one they said? Just this. I think they meant this. This uh, or Mod Podge. Yeah. And the, the problem that we foresee with that is, number one, Mod Podge dries fairly quickly, so if you start brushing it on in this spot, by the time you make it all the way around the tumbler, the spot that you brush first might be dry, and I just don't think you're gonna get a good even coverage with your glitter that way. Also, if you glob it on there so it doesn't dry, that's gonna take forever. For me, with the Mod Podge, it would, you could see the brush strokes, like no matter how smooth I tried to get it, you could still see the brush, stro brush strokes yeah. through the glitter. Yeah. Come on now. Come on now. Is it not spraying? Okay. There we go. Um, and then for this, it would take forever to dry. Loctite has been the best uh, product that we have found to do this. Okay. Lorraine just had the best tip ever, which Tell me. kind of just disproves my don't use Mod Podge theory. She said, here's a cool tip I learned. Use parchment paper, wrap it around the glitter tumbler, and roll it to smooth the glitter down. That's a great, it would get rid of the brush strokes. Oh, Yeah. yeah. 
can't get low enough. What is the I'm matter? Trying, I'm just trying to move this so it doesn't get spray. But what are you moving? The printer. Sorry, you all had to hear that. I could have moved it. No, it's fine. You're working. Yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> Gosh. So I'm just spraying this glitter. I've got this piece of paper underneath me to catch it all. So it kind of takes the um, worry away about how much I'm using or things like that. Uh, let me know what you guys have been up to today. What are your guys' Halloween plans? I know it's not even next week. It's like the week after next. Still, I know they're thinking yeah, about it. Let us know what you guys are doing. Also, if you're brand new, I never even introduced myself. You did not. That is so rude. My name is Rachel Langston, if you don't know, and I'm so glad that you're here at Oak and Lamb. Be there I am. Yeah. Hi. Becca is the voice that you hear as well, and she and I both are owners and craft educators here, and we love to teach and inspire and make you guys laugh and make you guys confident and help you wherever we can, and that's what Oak and Lamb is here to do, and if you are interested in joining an incredible, incredible crafty community with like-minded crafters of all different kinds, join today. It is $35 off your very first year with us if you use the code 350F. You can do that. We have hundreds of cut files, amazing member only content like videos and resources and a private Facebook group that people say is their favorite uh, perk with us. It's amazing. Grab it today. Ask any questions that you have. We love answering them. Co, one is done and she is gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Look at her. So I'm going to set that to the side and I'm going to take our glitter, open it up and put all of this glitter right back in the tub jar container yep one of those right here a shaker shaker jar i don't jar? know see jar to container? me suggests that it's glass even though that doesn't yeah no mean i agree squat, but okay <laughs> now look we basically used no glitter now i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna move this over here add another layer of lock tie i don't know why becca didn't want our printer to be sticky <laughs> Seems a little selfish to me, really. But. Only because that printer was under two hundred dollars when we purchased it, and now it's probably like four hundred bucks. Uh, for Halloween, Kathy said, "I volunteer with local police department and will be working the trunk and treat event, helping to keep all safe." That is amazing, and you get to see lots of adorable kiddos in their costumes. That sounds like a humongous. That's win -win a win-win. Yeah. Um, so a couple of things about the Mod Podge. I can't remember who said it, but we had a friend who said they used the spray Mod Podge for it. So that's an awesome idea. I didn't even know they made spray Mod Podge. I'm going to be 100% honest. Did No, yes, I did. I did know it. We have a tiny bottle of it. I'm sorry. That's you a great idea. just don't use it or think about it. Um, uh, where was the other one? Ugh. I forgot to take this off. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. We don't... You don't need the electrical tape, guys. Psych. I was too excited about the glitter. I completely forgot to tape it off. It's fine. I mean, I think it looks fine. I think it looks good. I mean, and, and there's no wrong or, way, wrong no, or right I, way. Like, it's if not you, like I missed a step. I missed yeah. a step I planned on taking. There is in no way a problem with this project. People make them like this all the time. Yes, Rachel absolutely. normally just tapes hers off. Um... Dana loves the color. Catherine says, hi, Flock. I'm missing the videos, but I'm back. Welcome back, Catherine. We're happy you're here. Um, I have found that two-part resin is more durable than UV resin. Renee, oh. that's interesting. I heard that. I've heard that before. Yeah? Years ago. I think, I say years like it's been forever. When you first started using UV resin, I was doing some uh, research. research on it. I, I heard that it was, um, like, harder. Okay. So... I could see that. I, I personally haven't had any issues with any of the tumblers or pens that I've done with UV resin. Well, we mainly seal with it. We don't mainly build things out of True. it. True. A lot of people build things out of AB part resin. So like We're, if you were making coasters yes. or ornaments. But here's the other thing. If you're making those things, you're likely using quite a bit of resin. And you're going to want to use AB over UV anyway yep. because it's less expensive yep. in larger quantities. Sure is. So th these are all great points. I yeah. love these topics that you all are bringing up. Good morning, Sharon. We did buy the silicone rings, Kat. Why did you say you didn't use them? I said I didn't, wasn't able to test them, and I didn't want to like get our alcohol inks on them or anything and mess any of them up. But I, I will use them on another video, I swear. 
Tracy says, I've not done any tumblers other than the vinyl. This looks easy. So Tracy, we have so many videos on tumblers because we're obsessed with them. We have a fabric wrap tumbler, which is really, really easy. We have a power wash spray tumbler tutorial. We have a cat scratch glitter tumbler tutorial. This one, regular you glitter tumbler. You want a pen? We've got a lot Honestly, of Honestly, if you are interested in other types of tumbler, we have quite a few videos for you all. So I'm excited for you to see those. Um, Kat, you said you haven't used your Loctite yet. What do you use? Have you made a glitter tumbler? I know you've made the fabric ones, but have you made glitter tumblers? Let me know. Also, camera two is being funky right now. Well, that's fine. I gotta spray something anyways. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do poly on this. Now, I'm doing a super light layer of poly because I'm gonna end up doing two. I want to do a layer of poly to hold this glitter on here so while I'm using my alcohol inks it's not going uh, everywhere. And then we're actually going to seal in our alcohol inks a little bit and do another coat later before we add our resin on it. So two coats it is. Very light coat on this one. And this is just semi-gloss or semi-gloss, whatever you guys like to say. Um, you can use any kind that you have. It's totally fine. This is not a step you have to take either. If you don't have this, if you don't do this step, you're not gonna just have a project fail. I just like to do this so it keeps the glitter from just going everywhere. It just kind of holds it in place a little bit. Oh, this doesn't spray either. Is it the weather? Are you kidding is me? Is it the weather, man? Get some alcohol and clean that nozzle. I think that happened to me when I was spraying. I don't remember. <laughs> That worked? Like a dream. Okay. okay. Light coat done. Okay. Now, guys, we get to chit chat for about seven minutes. I'll wave this around obnoxiously. Really obnoxiously. So it can kind of dry a little bit faster. I'm going to do this. Because we got some alcohol inks. To, and again, guys, this is it. After I apply the alcohol inks, you put resin on it and you're done. Now, usually two or three coats of resin, we're probably not gonna be doing all those coats today. I just don't see it happening. It's so cold outside, you're not supposed to cure resin in the cold. <laughs> so we're not gonna be able to take it outside to cure today in the sun. So we're gonna be curing it with our UV light, which is gonna take a year and a half. It'll take forever. So we're probably gonna do one coat of resin for you guys today on the live, but we will finish it. Now, after that first coat of resin, that is when you guys can add your decal or your sticker or what have you. So that's where you can add that. I didn't even plan to do that today. The Cricut's not even on the table today. And that is something else I wanted to mention about Oak and Lamb if you've never watched us before. We don't just do Cricut crafts. Now, we do a lot of Cricut crafts, but we don't just do Cricut crafts. We do things like this. Uh, Beck is extremely good at the workaround for our glow force, so we do a lot of laser cutting. We do a ton of sublimation. Uh, Anna is like a woodworking genius. Uh, everyone sews here but me, but I did sew a bib on a live. So I feel like we all can say we're so esteemed. Uh, right? We're all, we're professional sewers. We're at different levels or, or parts of oh, our yes. sewing journey. Yes. But yes. We are. Yes. We are. So if you want beginner advice, I'm definitely a beginner. But we dabble in everything, guys, honestly. Becca has done so much with UV resin. Um, I have done screen printing. Uh, we've done a lot here. If you just want a crafty space to be able to share your passion and get better and get inspired and be challenged, that is what Oak and Lamb is here to do. Carrie says, yay, I caught my first live. I've been searching for you since you all left MGL. Carrie, we are so happy that you searched for us one, that you found yes. us two, and that you're live with Hi. us. Welcome. That's so nice. Um, Can you mix, what is this? Can you mix glitter into the UV resin? You absolutely can. Yes, we do that a lot for different types of projects. Since this one we're going to be adding alcohol ink to, and in sealing we didn't want to mix that glitter with that resin or anything because we, we need the glitter to be raw without resin in it for our alcohol inks to set. While this is drying, I'm going to cut all these tips off this alcohol ink. It's going to be horrible, but you know, YOLO, YOLO. Actually, I'm just gonna pick the colors I want and then just take the tips off the colors I want because why create more work for myself? Okay, hmm. <sighs> what color scheme do we want, Becca? It's not focusing. Why is it not focusing? Put it all the way up. Now it's focused. I think it is. 
I think, yeah, there we go. Okay. I really don't get it. So let me just show you this while we're on the overhead camera. I only did two colors and this is not white, this is green. But look at this. This is what these two colors look like when, when you squirt them on here. Look at this. How cool is that? Now I just did it in a really weird pattern too, but I kind of like the pattern I did. It kind of looks like we, we were talking about earlier, like a geode. So I think I'm gonna do this type of pattern. So what color scheme do you guys think would do best for this? I'm thinking like pinks, purples, blues. Pink. What do you think, Becca? Sure. What do you think? I know nothing about geodes. I just am thinking about what might look good together. Uh, this one's gorgeous. That's pretty. I like that one better than this one. Um, wine red. They're talking about the blooper reel. Yeah, Diana, she actually said mommy is the real fire in this. She was, um, she was a little concerned about the glow forms having fire in it. She was. She was, yes. The blooper reel was so much fun. It really was. I'm so glad you all have liked it. Scott says, please don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you, Scott. We love Scott, that you reminder. The best. How you feeling, bud? How's that going? Let us know. I think this is plenty of colors. Five colors. They're, but they're so similar. Should I do different colors, Becca? What do you think? And we've got so many to choose from. I'm picking like super similar colors. Well, do you want them to blend? Do you want them to look like an ombre or do you want them to be like distinctive? I, I think ombre might look kind of cool then, because yeah. it would kind of fade in. Then what you would you want think? similar. Yeah. yeah. I kind of like this, this what we're doing here. I'm going to switch these two though. I kind of like that though. All right. That's it. It's wine red, purple, violet. What's scarlet? What is that? Red? red. That's a pretty blue. I'm going to start that one off there. All right. Let's just do these. Okay. So I'm going to get my scissors that already have alcohol ink on them. <laughs> I'll open these. And see, like, I, I'm shaking this to the ground. There's still stuff in the tip, so it's always going to come out. Oh, oh, man. I mean, that's bad. Oh, look at your... <laughs> that's so good. It's all it over me. so fun. It's all over me. Okay, that wasn't... That wasn't terrible. Well, got all over my scissors. Okay. Crap, I already got so Kat, out of I wonder if you could use, actually, I'm going to test it out really quick. I wonder if you could use alcohol ink pens on this. I don't think it will work as well. I mean, it, it won't blend. The reason why the I like way. these is because it's like if you dab a fat Sharpie onto a piece of paper and the ink kind of bleeds. Yeah. These work, but, but not, I mean, like if you want... You're not going to be able to draw anything really amazing on it. So. Get the cap on there. Go. No, go, go. I don't love it. I don't love it. Because my hands are. I'm going to have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> my kids Wash are over there just off. casually turning their Nintendos up. You know? Yeah. Okay, look at my poor hand. Yeah, I want to go to the bathroom really quick. Do you have a mall cut? Yeah. I really love that purple color. <laughs> yeah, it's it's stunning. It's really. Cass, mm. where are your gloves? Cat, I, I know. Oh, this ain't coming out. I look like I have some kind of disease. Well, put some alcohol on it. Scott says he's doing great. He's walking outdoors to get the muscles going again. That's good. Um, Mom apparently has no cavities. We can all congratulate her. Um, good morning, Stacy. I mean, I look like I, um, I look like I need to go to the hospital for something. Look, like it thinks that's funny. Yeah, try alcohol. Will it come off with the alcohol? Let me let me check. Oh, stunning, beautiful. Kinda. Is it helping? Kinda. 
<laughs> this is the least of our problems. Come on. Yeah, you it's know? true. It's okay. true. Okay. Those are all cut. My scissors. These are stained, but I think it's kind of pretty. Anywho, those aren't And you back. wonder why I hide my scissors. Those are from my private desk, Becca. Are they? The, yes. I, thought they, I thought they were from that. No. Where are the ones that go there? You gave me to Fallon yesterday. They're on Anna's desk. Fallon, you didn't pick up? Hmm? I just threw her right under the bus. Hmm? I'm like, I ain't getting in trouble for this. <laughs> and I'm not going to do it. <laughs> <sighs> I, I don't know. I think this is Picasso. Picasso. They say it looks like you slammed your finger in the door. You know what, though? Nothing has hurt. Not even my tattoo hurt as bad as me singeing my finger on that stupid 400 heat press. degree heat press. Yes. The, the, the scar. It was on my left hand, too. Is I don't it know why. There? I feel like my left side, I want to just keep pristine all the time. Like, that's where my wedding bands and stuff go. I don't want anything on it. Like, that's all my tattoos going to be over here. I don't want anything over here. People that, you know, have, like, their little fingers and their hands tattooed and stuff, I don't have the guts to do that. I don't have the guts to do that. I tried to get a hand tattoo once, and the tattoo artist wouldn't do it. Hmm. Wouldn't do it. Why not? I wonder. I don't, I don't know. It's crazy. I was in Colorado. I was in Vail, Colorado. We were like, yeah, let's go get tattoos while we're here. And so we went in, and they're like, no, we're not doing that. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what was it of? Do you not want to say? You no, don't I don't remember. Oh, you don't even remember, don't remember what remember. it was. What is your new? It tattoo? was probably like initials or something. I Gail, we all got oak and lamp. It's got glitter on it. It's got glitter in it. We all got oak and lamp tattoos. Look how cute. So we all got these. It's adorable. Mine's a medium size. Annie got a, a smaller one, and Becca got a bigger one. We all got some for the anniversary of oak and lamb. My mother won't talk to me. No, I'm kidding. She will. She won't. She just won't. She told me. She said, I'm not going to say a word about it. I said, okay, Mom. Sounds good. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, let me feel this. It's dry. She's ready to go. Okay, good. So I'm going to keep them in this, in, this, um, in this order. I have peacock blue, emerald, regular green, purple, violet, and wine red. I'm just going to keep them in this and do it like this until we're just to the other side. If they end up meeting like the same color or something, I'm not going to fret about it because this is just about kind of the design here. So I'm going to start at one end and kind of taper around and do the other end, but I'm going to do it in kind of a zigzag because let me tell you, over the course of five minutes even, I left and came back to that, and it was even more spread out. So they will eat, they'll meet together and blend even more than you think. So I'm just going to do like a zigzag pattern. You can't do things like a smiley face or a like a design that's supposed to be neat, I'll say. I don't know how to say that. Pers right. Yeah, yeah. Because you're just not going to have that. This is kind of just going to do a watercolor type of pattern. If you want to do drips and drops all the way around this, I think that would be gorgeous. If you want to start from the top, and like drag it down halfway, then kind of let it bleed down a little bit. That would be a really cool design as well. Uh, we didn't have enough tumblers for me to play around with designs like that. Um, I could have. Now we can play around with this uh, this uh, tumbler behind me after I'm done with this one. If you guys want to see other patterns or you want to see me test something that you have in your head, that way you don't waste time and money doing it. I'm happy to do that for you guys. But I'm just going to start down here on the bottom and it's going to drip or like that one see how it spread that's beautiful so it's going to drip like that or you can continuously squeeze it out whatever you want to do it's so satisfying to watch it spread though i love that so i'm going to leave them without their caps on them just set them right there because I want to be grabbing them again. And again, this will spread out even more than this. It'll spread out more. So I'm going to go right next to it, but not like touching it, like a little bit over here. Because again, it will spread out. Just like that. Is that green? This one is emerald. Ooh, I love emerald. Fun fact, I used to buy Laura Geller makeup. I have no idea what that is. Laura Geller, it was just like a brand. And I used to only use emerald green eyeshadow. 
That's cool. Okay, next is regular green. They're, they blend so well together. I bet the camera can't pick that up. It blends so well I think, together. I think it is. We're just going to get darker. This one's even darker than that. Green? Yeah, this one's just regular green. Just going to add a little bit in here. Okay. So the benefit of doing this is that you have one glitter color, but all of these alcohol inks. So if you wanted to do, like, if you wanted to do a whole tumbler like this, but didn't have the glitter for it, then you could really just create a glitter tumbler, but with whatever color you want. Like, obviously you can do these fun things, but you can just do normal, boring things too. Not boring. Normal, but you boring know, things. You know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. You think they're boring, Becca? Yeah, super boring. No, I love glitter. Okay, next color, violet, which is going to look similar to that one. As you can see, it goes like blue, green, purple. Did I get more on my hands? No, thought I did. Okay. Oh, see how spread more? That's so neat. Okay. I'm just kind of tapping and dropping as well. I'm not like squeezing super hard because you don't need a ton of this, honestly. Oh, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. And this is our last color. Now, I can whip out some more colors if we think this needs a little bit more um, depth. But I think this is really pretty. This one is pretty much red. Rach, did you get that Laura Geller makeup, makeup from QVC? My aunt did, yes. Yeah, she's the one that got me hooked on it, my aunt Kathy, who was a QVC addict. Okay, this addict. is gorgeous. This is really gorgeous. So here's the question now. Do we want to add more colors or me start with just starting the same? More colors, more colors. Well, now we don't have a lot of room. But still, more okay. colors. What do we, okay. We ended with red, Becca. What's next you pick? Yellow or orange. Well, which one? Orange first and then yellow. And then you can be done. You think I'll be done in two? Maybe, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to set my, I don't want it to mess up the colors if I set it. Oh, good. You're adding more color to your hand. No, I, no, I'm not. No, 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 no. Okay, orange going on. Tracy says, I wouldn't even have to go to the store to make this. I have everything that never happens. Oh. Tracy, oh, I love that. Tracy, that's a sign. I love that. Could use a T pin to open them. It's like a tack, but longer, like a needle. We try that. Yeah. Well, we try to, yeah. Oh, my God, this is so pretty. Okay, what's next, Becca? Yellow. And then wait, 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 wait. I have this yellow, and then this says lemon yellow. I think yellow, yellow. Yeah. And is there like a yellow, a green yellow? Look how that's blending. Like a <laughs> lime green or something? Yeah. Do that one. if you can. Do that one in between the the yellow and the blue, and it will sort of blend together. Oh, see how what that one did? Oh, oh. Okay, this is so much quicker. Here we go. Desmond also has all of these supplies. I love that these crafters are prepared for this and they didn't even know they needed to be. Oh my God, this is so pretty. This is gorgeous. It really is. Now what is. color did you say? Like a, like a lime, lime green? green, yeah. Right here's lime green. Do it. He's poor, sit, look. <laughs> oh, that one was a match. Now, you want me to fill this whole section with lime green? Um, is the first color blue? The first color is, yes, blue. Let me see it again. Is there like a blue-green? Grass green. This one is yeah, grass green sapphire blue. Grass gra grass green would be fine too. So do the lemon or the lime, lime and then the grass, grass green. green. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. That one's open. Oh, that one's already open too. Okay, sweet. So I'm doing lime then grass. Yes. 
Lenny also has all the supplies. Oh my gosh. That okay. is so cool. It is gorgeous. I'm going to go through here and fill in a little bit. At the top, yeah. Right at the bottom. Like at the, at the top. Right now it's where my bottom is, but you guys know what I mean. Would sublimation and glitter work? Renee, I think it would. I've never tried it, but I think it would. Because sublimation on glitter vinyl works, so I don't know. Now I want to try it. That is so cool. Looking. It is so pretty. How Crystal neat. also has the supplies. All these, I can't wait to see what you all do. I'm trying to decide what color these are. Right. Which it doesn't super, super matter down here like it's not that big of a deal cat just click the, click the link she just clicked the link i can say it again bex that's so cool right i am obsessed with that that is so cool okay i'm gonna set this down and put all these caps back on is the top is the top of it completely covered yeah okay most of it yeah okay i think that's where not a ton of glitter is so it looks less saturated okay. yeah yeah, like right there, it's like my yes. finger hit it, so the glitter's off of it a little bit. Oh my gosh, That's it's on me. beautiful. How cool! Okay. I'm gonna add these caps back to these tightly. There goes one of the floor. I'm trying to find the caps with the exact colors because I don't want to. How much would you sell these for, Jacqueline? This is a great question. And we don't sell our products, so I really want those who do sell them to chime in. Um, we have a formula that we kind of go by, and that is cost of product plus whatever hourly rate you want to pay yourself. Um, and, you know, how long it takes you to, to do that. I, if it was personalized, that changes things. Like if you wanted to put, if somebody ordered it and wanted their name on it, then that makes it a little bit more expensive. But some of our members have some really great charts that they kind of go by, um, and I'm sure that they can give you some great advice. That's super cool, though. Okay. So I think the consensus, Becca, is do we decide we're going to put another coat of poly on it? I would. Yeah. yeah. And then seal it up. I, I think the poly on this coat should be a hair thicker than on your first coat. Probably. And then we'll let it, what time is it? Yeah, we've got time. Then we'll let it dry and then put our UV resin on it. We'll probably let it spin and say goodbye because yeah. I just don't, you know. Well, this finishing is the tutorial. this is finish the, finishing this is the same as finishing all other tumblers. Yes. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. Kind of. And we actually want this to be really good because I think someone's going to want it. It looks so nice. Okay. Here I go. Where did you get that glitter package? Surely, so it was it's just white glitter and the um it's from, the white glitter's from Element OP, but the alcohol inks are what you want from Amazon, and they are listed below. How cool. Must have a puppy dog in the room. I hear squeaky toys. So they are puppy toys, but it's actually my five-year-old who thinks it's funny to squeeze toys when we're live. Yeah, her, iP or her Nintendo died, so. Well, Mom, she has to fill the void somehow. <laughs> she can, she should color some order. Oh, she is. Elves. Did you make a turkey? Oh, she she drew us a lamb, Rachel. Did she? That is something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. Fallon, please stop. Thank you. I'm trying to save these scissors. I don't think it's going to work. I think the scissors are toast. I think they're done. Hot pumpkin spice coffee and bread with butter and apple jelly. Why would you say that? Because now, now that's all that I want. That sounds delicious. I'm going to set this over here. It does sound delicious. Let that dry. My poor scissors. It's okay. They're fine. Okay. I'm going to clean up a little bit. Um, the reason also why I'm going to keep this alcohol is because once I apply my layer of 
resin before I cure it. It's always a good idea to spray some alcohol in there, pop the bubbles, or you can take a lighter and put the lighter really close to it and pop those bubbles as well. Either way, works really good. Okie dokie. Let's talk. You guys got any questions for me? Let me know. We're going to be throwing this thing on here, adding some resin. Jay Diction's our favorite. We've done some resin comparisons. Uh, they were really unbiased. Like, I was trying to be super unbiased because we only, I think Becca just bought Jay Diction for the first time. We ended up loving it. And then. Uh, and then we tried other ones and we were like, eh, no. Stink. So we ended up loving Jay Diction. It came out on Tippity Tippity Top. Now I have another one. I have this one here. If you guys want to see me do something with it while we wait for this to dry, let me know and I can get the alcohol inks out and do a different pattern or something. But I mean, this one's stunning to me. There's like a couple of areas where I think I went really light on the uh, alcohol ink and I can tell it, it like needed to be a little heavier handed. Now again, alcohol inks, they're gonna dry, so they'll dry. It's not like you're like wetting this and it's gonna stay wet, it's gonna dry. So I would go a little bit heavier handed. That's one tip just from doing this right now that I could tell you. Could you do anything on the bottom of the tumbler? You can, Jennifer, there's several different things you could do. You could spray paint the bottom. You could add glitter to the bottom if you wanted to. You can type it off so nothing's on the bottom. Yeah. You could just make it really clean. Yeah. Um, you could do one, one color of alcohol ink on the bottom if you wanted to. What else can you use alcohol inks on? We've used alcohol inks to actually hand paint kind of like a watercolor effect on um, resin pens. You can actually like do some fun painting things with them. However, I'm not a painter, so I can't really help you with that. Um, I don't know, what do you all use alcohol inks for? Rachel and I aren't painters, so. No, I, I took a an art class. Um, like my junior year of high school, uh, like a paid art class. I did a I did okay, but I, I thought if I was gonna break my potential out, it would be in that class, like learning. No, I should bring them in one day. We should do a like a member only live about uh, make your mom dig some stuff up, like old art projects, because I I still have all of mine. Mom found some of mine that were saved from the fire, and let me tell you, holy crap. Um, I don't think my old projects can count as art. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, all of my stuff with clay, uh, sadly, was lost in the fire. Um, but I would have brought all my clay stuff in because those were pretty impressive. I do love to work with clay. I made this little sock monkey, and I made him holding another little sock monkey. It was cute. I made a pie with one of those like little 98-cent pie tins from Walmart. And instead of being smart and filling the rest with like filler and then just a couple of little balls to look like berries on the top. I filled the entire thing with tiny balls. It took me forever. I don't listen. You live and you learn. The lattice took me a while to weave the lattice. Yeah, it, yeah. I bet it looked really cool though. It was, it was cool. It was fun. Um, have you done UV resin alcohol pens? Becca has, yes. She's yeah, I actually did it. Um, our first course that we purchased or that we created has a alcohol ink UV resin pen. So video. here's the problem, Shirley, with using this method on plastic cups is we don't recommend putting UV resin on anything that you can bend or anything like that because it dries hard. Now there are soft cure resins. I've never used them. I, I used can't them recommend them. I can't tell you it's going to work great. Uh, but that's kind of the counter we get whenever we say our opinion on this. People are like, oh, well, there's resins that don't cure the whatever. Uh, we don't recommend it because if you can squeeze that cup, you're going to crack that resin. Uh, so things like Starbucks cups and things like that that are um, a little bit bendy, squishy, we don't recommend using that for UV resin. Good question, though. <sighs> Kat said, you came too late, Stacey. I already bought it because you didn't talk me out of it. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. My alcohol inks have not been opened yet, so this project will be the first. Let me tell you, it's a good one to start with. It's no, super it's fun. so satisfying Just, and quick. I, I was thinking yesterday about going ahead and doing the glitter and the poly and just doing the alcohol inks on here. We would have been done half an hour ago. It would have been done if I just had to put the ink on it and cure it. Um, now... The one that you saw on TikTok was cow print. Is that right? Yes. 
And now, and that is just not up my alley, but the way that I saw her, it was a white tumbler as well. She put it on there the same as we do. I think she used some different products, but, you know, I, I got the gist. And she used black and brown to make, like, a, like cow blobs, which are very random anyway, so you cannot mess that up. Mm-mm. Um. I could dig through my TikTok, I think. I guess you could do, like, cheetah or leopard print this way as well. You would start with the lighter color and then do the black in the middle. But but again, let me tell you, these things bleed and they keep bleeding. It's more blended right now than it was just a minute ago. You can see these colors up here. Uh, They they blend for several minutes. So right when you think, oh, I love that, stay right there, it's not going to. It's going to blend out some more as well. So take that into consideration with your designs. Um, But, yeah, that cow print, I mean, it was cute. A lot of people love cows and stuff, not me. You know, I'm probably allergic to them. I don't know. So, this was cute. Plus, we had all these fun colors. I did not want to do boring colors when we had all of these super fun colors. <sighs> Robin said she did a cow print that way. Um, random, but what's your thoughts on offering courses on 3D printing? Ooh. Can I can I say something? Sure. Here's the problem. Becca's gonna chime in because she's probably actually used a 3d printer i have not i've seen one being used but here's my initial first thoughts on offering a course for 3d printing number one there's really no training other than like how to put your uh 3d printer together and there is just way too many out there it's kind of like sublimation you know if we wanted to show you how to convert a sublimation printer not everyone's going to be buying the same printer so that one training is completely obsolete for every person on this planet who does not have that printer so right there, the training's out the window. We couldn't really do one on that because all of you would be buying other, like different ones, which is great. That's totally fine. But we couldn't really train on that. And then using it is, as far as I know, I don't know, literally like as easy as like b- buying a file or something like that, plugging it in and like click and go. I don't think Yeah, really I mean, I think the hardest it. part would be the software um, and that varies depending on which one you yeah. use. Um, I love the idea of it, but Rachel's right. It's just too varying to create an actual course for it unless everyone wanted to buy the, the same exact one. same. Yeah. Which if y'all do, if all <laughs> 86 of you watching right now buy the exact same one, maybe we'll make a course yeah. about it. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's a great idea though. Cause listen, we're always looking for ways that we can, uh, help others and uh, inspire others to create. Uh, more than you do right now. So we love offering courses and creating courses. We've got a lot of courses in the works for you guys, a lot planned for the next uh, few years coming up. Um, so, yeah, we hate we hate shoot, shooting the idea down, but it's that's a good idea. It is. Let me see if this thing's dry enough yet. A few more minutes. Why don't you put the heat gun on it? Should I? I would. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Becca loves that. Every time. I don't know why it's so funny. My sweaty hand took some of the alcohol ink off the green. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm only human. Becca called me out in the blooper video. She said, I don't have moist hands. Rach, what's for lunch? Huh? What's for lunch? I don't know. Are you, you're, you're leaving after this, aren't you? Yeah, I gotta go to Hobby Lobby. Yeah. What are you getting for lunch? I don't know. Hmm. I had, for dinner last night, I had these hamburgers that I got from the freezer section, and they had, like, cheese and bacon, and it was, like, ground up in it. It was disgusting. It was terrible. It was a bad choice. It sounds like it would be a good decision, but... It was not. It it was textured really weird. Like, the flavor was fine. It was a bad choice. But I did make a tomato and cucumber and feta, like salad thingy with some vinaigrette and it was good that sounds good that was yummy that yeah. sounds delish anna texted me this morning she was like what did you eat yesterday i'm gonna eat exactly what you ate because this week has been really great for my weight loss um 
I'm at 29.6 pounds, so I'm almost at 30. Yes. That is yes. ridiculous. I know, I'm really excited. Anyway, and I texted her, I was like, you don't want to know what I ate today. <laughs> so, Meaning yesterday? Yeah. You ate a sandwich. That's all you ate all day, wasn't No, that it? was the day before yesterday. Yesterday, oh. yesterday was my munchie day because I, on Wednesdays are my munchie day. And so I have... I love that. She said, on Wednesdays are my munchie day. I have, well, because I, like, I do Ozempic on Thursday, and so yeah. by Wednesday it's sort of wearing off. Um, yesterday I had a Premier Protein Shake. I had cottage cheese and the tomato cucumber salad. I had um, two Pals French fries. I had the hamburger with no bun, um, and then I had like three Jolly Ranchers and three Hershey Hugs, and oh my god, I was giving her this whole list, oh, two handfuls of hot tamales. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> never mind. Oh. <laughs> never mind. It's a fantastic diet. <laughs> you, I know I do too. Okay. Yes, yeah, so everyone's congratulating Becca. I know. Listen, she's she's a rock star. Thank you. Okay, I'm putting my uh, gloves on because I don't want to get any alcohol inks or anything on my hands. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those gloves on to really protect my hands from all that stuff. <sighs> okay. Oh. Okay. Here we go. This is kind of leaning down on me, and I can't get it not to do that. That's straighter. Okay. Here we go. I'm using my little bottle because it's not like we're out of resin, but we only have like half bottles of all of it. So the big one's like got this much in it and the little one's like half, you know, empty. And the big one's big to be lugging around if it's half, like got this much in it. So I'm just going to use a baby one. We need to buy some more. We are running out of everything right now. Wait, I thought I had two whole things. I, th I thought I had two unopened 500 grams Maybe in I didn't. Maybe I was not paying a bit of attention. That sounds like something I might do. Okay, I'm going to take my finger. You guys know, if only I didn't have to buy these extra large gloves so I could fit Becca's humongous hands. <sighs> Linda, my blood sugar is never, my blood sugar is not an issue. Um... I've never had out of whack blood sugar. I just have out of whack insulin. <laughs> so that's fun. Yeah. Um, when I went to the doctor, not I'm not saying she was surprised, but with my history of everything, she um, she was quite curious that I didn't have gestational diabetes. And I was like, no, I didn't have that. I did not. I didn't have that. I had yours. It's fine. Thank you. Okay. It's gonna switch on me. No, it didn't. Sometimes this thing switches. It probably will this time. Is it possible to do the Loctite and glitter and then wait till the next morning to do the resin out in the sun? Or for best results, do you recommend doing it all at the same time? No, you can no. absolutely wait. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, no, you don't have to. That's what I was gonna do yesterday. I was thinking about it. I thought I might just prep it and then do only the alcohol inks and the resin today. But again, the live would have been already over like half an hour ago because that's not a lot to do at all. My doctor's putting me on we, we Govy. I'm really excited. My Pico symptoms are all sorts of crazy right now. Yeah, we Govy is really, it's basically the same thing as Ozempix. And yeah. I've had like really, really great success with my Picos and Ozempix and Metformin and some hormone stuff and because my hormones are also out of whack so i'm feeling great though i hope you get to, to feeling better with all of this too yeah linda me too absolutely you would think that i would not have great blood sugar but it's always always fine which is good yeah it's great okay that's it for my for my really thick first coat. Now I'm gonna go all around it. If I see some, or not see, it's the importance of feeling. If I feel right. any dry patches, just like in any other resin project, if I feel any dry patches, I'm just gonna go back over them with a little bit more resin. There's a dry patch. 
Oh, of course it turned around on me. It's I, so pretty. You oh can my resin gosh. the whole bottom, or you can just resin to the edge. The top edge is what you want to worry about since we didn't tape anything, since I got carried away. Just make sure all that resin is pulled out of there nice and clean. Um, any resin before it is cured, you can clean up with some rubbing alcohol. Um, uh, and it'll clean up really well. So if there's any in the lip at the top, go ahead and clean it out. Turn the other way. That took like 15 tries. <laughs> with the crap. I don't know why it does that. I don't know what sensor, I don't, I don't know. I'm out of question. Uh, make sure you clean any alcohol that's in the lip of this thing. Now I'm seeing some areas where I should have went heavier handed on the ink again. Uh, do as I say, not as I do, pretty much, and make sure that you do have enough ink on there. Don't be stingy with it. This whole thing's feeling pretty darn good, though. Just wish it wasn't so lopsided in here. Okay. All right, I'm happy with it. I'm going to take my gloves off. Take one up glove off, actually. Put the cap back on this resin. Take that glove off and start hitting it with our light here. I'm gonna hit the bottom first because I, I don't want it to start pulling down as it's curing. Again, outside is much better for this, but it's just, I think it's just too cold. It's just 48. Uh, maybe it was, if it was in like the high 50s, I wouldn't be so concerned about it, but I just think it's a little bit too cold. No, I think it is too. I don't think it'll cure well. And we don't want to ruin this project at this point, but we sure don't. But th like, this is it. This is it. Uh, I have to be honest. The only color of vinyl I'd put on this is white because no other color is going to jump. Or like a sil metallic silver would be pretty. That would be pretty, yes. Or That's like metallic of, yeah. Metallic gold if you put it on the darker side would be pretty. Yes, yes. But yeah, I think non-metallic like white that. would be the yeah, only thing. The only thing that would really jump off of the all, the, all these colors. Um you know what I, and I don't know what the actual term for it is, but when, when they take that really fine gold metallic um, tape looking stuff and detail the tumblers with it. That's oh, so cool. It's, it's like thin. It's yeah, super, super thin. thin. It's so it's cool. It's beautiful. Looking. Oh, thanks, Gail. The only additions that Becca made were the additions that you liked. I see. She said the greens and yellows were a great addition. I see how it is. I forgot to spray it. I think it's hard to tell if there's actually bubbles in the first layer because of the glitter. And again, this alcohol is good. It's not, this is 91% alcohol. She dries like mad, yeah. so I'm not worried about that. But um, what you'll do at this point when this is dry is sand it if you want to lightly mm -hmm. feel it, sand it. Uh, really lightly another coat of resin if you only want to do two coats of resin which I'm a little heavy-handed on my resin so two coats is usually enough for me uh, after you say in this first coat after this cures you can go ahead and add your decal and then add your final layer of resin and call it a day call it a day we're gonna get sick from these fumes there's a lot and there's a lot in here so it's a, and I'm like right alcohol the more right. than anything oh Oh, you big weenie. <clears throat> There's glitter in my tattoo. I gotta clean that thing again. Anna went to, I'm throwing her on the bus. Anna went to Anna Keisha yesterday, which is like 45 minutes from her. How far? Probably an hour, I don't know. An hour away yeah. from here. And she forgot to put, to take aquaphor with, aquaphor with her, which again, it's freezing. So, and you just go about your day, you don't really think about it. Well, Aquaphor is what's really good to put on your tattoos because it keeps them uh, moist and protected. Uh, I use Aquaphor on Charlie at every diaper change just to protect him. I mean, it adds a really good protective layer to keep from diaper rash. And he's, such, he's got such sensitive skin. So just like us, it keeps it moist and protected. It adds a little layer there. And she forgot to take it. And she, she texts us in the group chat and says, you think I can put Blistex on this thing? And I was like, like no! no! you can't put Blistex on it. And she was like, isn't it better than nothing? And I'm like, I say quiet. Becca goes, no! And then she Googled it, of course, and Google was like, please don't do that. Oh, my gosh. 
The alcohol spray spritz while curing. Uh, she should have done it before she started curing it, I'm but um, it was to it was to pop any bubbles that might be in the resin, especially if you get toward the bottom of your resin bottles and it's kind of got some air in it. Then yeah. it would probably have more bubbles than at the top of the bottle. Now, this kind of along with our uh, polyurethane spray. If you don't do this method, it's not like you're going to have a project fail. Uh, like Becca mentioned, right when I was spraying it. You really can't tell or notice if there's a lot of bubbles, especially in the first coat. And you're going to be sanding this lightly. So the coat that really matters is your final coat. That's the coat that is uh, super important to make sure it's done right with no bubbles and all that good now, stuff. Now, if you had like a solid painted one or something like that, you would see you would bubbles more. It. Yeah, but not, not with this glitter. Too busy. She's got glitter and alcohol inks and all kinds of stuff. Great question. Is it curing at all? Yeah. I'm yeah. kind of shocked. It's 65 degrees in here, and that light is not my favorite. If we were outside it would already, and warm, it would already be cured. Okay, right here. <laughs> Get that little handheld one. <laughs> oh, what my God. Oh, we can leave. We, we can go, because this is it. Like, this is, this is the process. As soon as this is done... You can be done. You can lightly sand it. Whatever you want to do. But this is it. You, you guys saw the tutorial, which the whole point of today's was to show you that amazing alcohol ink um, little trick. Because let me tell you, whenever there is a new way that you can just mm, up the ante on these tumblers, you know we like to do it here. We're all about tumblers. And so are you. You guys love tumblers, too. Um, I have some small print and cut images that I'll put on photo paper, matte photo paper. Can I use the washi tape setting due to the intricate images? I think it would, should cut through the paper. I don't think washi paper setting would cut through the photo. Photo paper um, is, is thicker. Yes, it is. Um, but there's actually photo paper settings. Um, and what I would suggest if it's super intricate is just to put a new blade in your machine and use the photo paper setting. Um, Sylvia, we use J-Diction. You know that, Sylvia. We love that J-Diction UV resin. It is linked below if you would like to use it. Get the 500 gram bottle if you think you're going to use, if you're going to make two resin projects, honestly. It's so worth it, which when you make two, then you'll be addicted and have to make all of them. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah. Let us know if you have any questions, last minute questions, but that, that's it. Our live schedule next week is not up yet. Um, we've got to get better about that, Rach. We've got to get better about that. It should be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, though. Um, but only Tuesday, Tuesday Thursday, and Thursday here. on YouTube, and Wednesday, Wednesday in the private Facebook yep. group. Yep. Usually all at ten thirty. Usually. Um, Crystal, I've not tried HTV Ron alcohol inks. Have you used them? Do you like them? HTV Ron's got lots of got stuff. Got a lot of stuff. I do. We need to try. Yeah. We need to try yeah, it. We do. So, guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Uh, stay safe. Have fun. We will see you here Tuesday at 1030. Uh, I will schedule some live streams so you might can see what we're doing next week. <laughs> but we will see you later, guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, again, click the link below. Join Oak and Lamb. It's a fantastic community. We would love to welcome you as a part of our flock. We are celebrating one year around here, and it, that's, that's quite an accomplishment. We're super, super excited. So we'll see you next week. Have a super safe weekend. Bye, everyone.